Ladies and gentlemen, I had a little bit of something, so don't mind me if my tongue gets a little bit sloppy. So let's proceed. First, I gotta say that I have a few mods like Alternate Life and some others purely for immersion. Nothing game breaking, so for me, I make a character at the very beginning. You wake up in a carriage as a prisoner sitting next to some guy called Rayloff, Loker and Ulfric Stormcloak. It turns out that Rayloff is a rebel and Ulfric is the leader of Skyrim Rebellion and you're going to get executed in Helgen, all of you. So there is this civil war going on in Skyrim between Stormcloaks and Imperials. There's some lore stuff that I won't get too deep into, but sometimes I will have to. So Stormcloaks are these true traditional Nordic guys and Skyrim is a part of the Empire. And all was good until the Empire became allies with Aldmeri Dominion or aka Thalmor. Thalmor goes against the main Nordic god Thalos. Talos. Uh, whatever. He was a human, the first temper, and human can't god, you heretic, please end yourself basically, and that's why Stormcloaks are trying to liberate Skyrim, that's the whole conflict. So you ride into the city, see some important people all around, and you realize that you're in deep sh**. <laughs> this is the moment when you originally make a character. And I decided to go with a strong Nordic woman, Sabrina Scryer. I hope you know what I meant. The Imperials find out that you're not on the list, but still decide to execute you because why the fuck not? America, ladies and gentlemen, democracy. And as your time approaches, a big black dragon appears from behind the mountains and basically starts yelling at everybody. In all this fuss, you try to escape. You see the terror on your way out of Helgen, and I personally like to go with Rayloff since there is a nice scene when you get to Riverwood. But wait a bit. So Rayloff cuts the ropes and you take some equipment from a guy that won't need it anymore. As you escape through Helgen dungeons, you fight some Imperials, everything is falling apart and you and Rayloff seem to be the only ones to have escaped. Rayloff says that he has a sister named Gerda in a village nearby and you can either go with him or alone. On your way to Riverwood, you can pick a stone that will give you a boost in learning whatever you want like stealth, magic or being a warrior. So you arrive to Riverwood and Rayloff explains the situation to his sister and everyone's like, oh really, that was a dragon. And Gerda asks you to go to the nearest big city, Whiterun, and explain to the Jarl that the village needs some reinforcements. You sell the stuff that you've looted to the local traders and proceed to Whiterun. On the way there you see some badass warriors fighting a giant. They belong to a faction called the Companions, one of many factions actions of Skyrim. And if you'd like me to make similar videos on Dark Brotherhood, on Mages Guild or any other, leave a like and subscribe. So you persuade a guard that you need to talk to the Jarl and proceed into the city. You find Jarl Volgorf in the middle of something, but you're not shy to interrupt. He says thanks, but could you do something else? And introduces you to the court wizard Farangar, who says he might know some more information about the dragons coming back. But for this you need to retrieve the dragonstone from some old Nordic ruins. You go there, but I decided first to get myself a follower. The easiest one was this elf Fandal. There's some love triangle in Riverwood between him, Camilla, this young beautiful lady, and this blonde douche. So I made the blonde douche fuck off and Fandal became available as a follower. I just wanted some company. And then you go to the Bleak Falls Barrow ruins to retrieve the Dragonstone. Fight through some marauders until you find one of them tangled in the web. He has the key that you need to open the ruins called the Golden Claw, which is pretty self-explanatory. The key is a golden claw. As you free him, he runs off but dies and you pick up the golden claw from his body. No problem. Fight through some draugers, easy until you're in the main hall. There you learn the first word of power that you will need to shout. Fuss one of the three words of Fus Rodar. After that, the dungeon master appears and you give him 300 bucks for the Dragonstone. You come back to Whiterun and see Farangar discussing the dragon problem with some mysterious lady. Who could that be? But as you hand him the stone, some news come that there's been a dragon attack on his watchtower. Balgor sends you there since you have more experience, the most experience, and if fleeing like a rat on a sunken ship is experience, then I'm a pro. You go there and find the tower burning, the dragon comes back and you collectively defeat him. You absorb his soul and everyone's like, oh, 
You are the dragonborn. You're the chosen one, Neo. Then you shout for the first time and go back to Whiterun to tell Balgro that the dragon is dealt with. But on your way to the city, you hear some thundering voice. Balgro says that it's the Greybeards calling for you and you have to go there. So they teach you the way of voice and how to use your ability. Quite a long road there, but you arrive to Iverstad, a village at the root of the mountain. From there you have to go 9000 steps upwards to reach the High Hrothgar Temple. The Greybeards greet you and test your thum, or voice. All four of them press the buttons and are impressed how fast you can learn new thums. They teach you a trick or two and as a final test they send you on a mission to retrieve the Horn of Jorgen Windcaller. Again, most of the time is taken by going through the Ustengrav dungeon. Pretty cool dungeon, what can I say, looted some stuff, solved the riddle, only the one who has the power of voice can solve. And in the main hall, where the horn should be, you don't find the horn and actually you find a letter. It says that you need to rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. You arrive and ask for the attic room and this woman Delphine says that there is no such room but you can have the one on the left. You go to your room and she's like, so you're the dragonborn. And yeah, she's the mysterious lady from before. She says that you need to talk and you go to her secret room in a cupboard. Then she says she can't trust you just yet and she needs to test you. So she figured out the next place where a dragon will attack and you need to go there to demonstrate what you are capable of. And turns out the dragons aren't just coming back, they're coming back to life, getting resurrected. So you're the only one capable of killing a dragon permanently. The next attack should be in Kynesgrove. You go there and see some black dragon resurrecting another one. You finish the freshly resurrected dragon before the main villain disappears. That's how good you are obviously. Dolphine says that she's one of the last members of the Blades. The Blades are a faction that used to serve and protect the Dragonborn, or the Emperor, or the Dragonborn Emperor, and fight dragons. But it's been long since the last Dragonborn, so Blades kind of fallen apart, so she's one of them. The next thing Delphine says you need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. And her best lead is Thalmor, because logically the war was basically over when the dragon appeared and basically saved the lead leader of the rebellion, and even though the rebels hate Thalmor, the Thalmor benefits from the war. Since the civil war weakens Skyrim and the dragon threat too, so the empire is weakened, and if it's not them, they should know who it is. So she suggests you need to get into the Thalmor embassy and retrieve some info. She goes to Riverwood to work out a plan, and we go to High Hrothgar, where we are accepted by the Greybeards and learn the last word of Fus Rodar. Then you come to Riverwood and meet Delphine. She says that there is going to be a party made by Ellen when the ambassador, and that you're going to be one of the guests. Delphine has a contact inside the embassy who doesn't like Thalmor much. The contact will be waiting for you in Solitude, the Skyrim's capital, to sneak some of your gear in. You go to Solitude and there is an execution in process. You watch it till the end and then take the head of the executed guy. The children need a ball or something to play with after all. You give all of your most important gear to the elf and go to the stagecoach that will drive you to the embassy after you change your clothes. You arrive at the embassy dripping in shit, looking fly, you know what I mean, and so they let you in. You meet Ellenwen and some other important people from all across Skyrim, then you need to find a way to distract them. So after stealing all of their sweet rolls and some other food, you get some booze and give it to this guy who's willing to repay you. You tell him to put on a scene and leave through the back door. Since I'm a strong Nordic woman, I don't do it stealthy and just rush through the elven meat until eventually you find their prison. There are some files in there on a guy called Esburn. Then you escape the embassy through some underground cave. You tell Delphine about the files and she's very surprised about the Esbern guy. He's a good old friend of hers who might know about the threat. The document says that he might be hiding in the sewers of Riften, so Delphine instructs you to go there and maybe talk to Brynjolf, a member of the Thieves Guild. I did it, but it was kind of pointless since I found Esbern myself. There were some Thalmor agents, but they weren't any trouble. You tell Esbern the code that Delphine told you. He opens the door and tells you how it's all hopeless, Alduin the World Eater has returned and the end of the world is coming. But you tell him that you're Dragonborn and he's like, whoa, that changes everything, let's go. Then you go back to Riverwood together. After this wholesome reunion, 
It's good mm. to see mm. you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. He tells you about the Skyhaven Temple where the Alduin's Wall should be located. And the wall is basically a prophecy and should tell you about how to defeat Alduin. So you together move out to find this temple. You meet some resistance at the entrance since the territory is occupied by a Forsworn. And also there is a resurrected dragon. After a long and gruesome battle, you enter the temple. You need to give some of your Dragonborn's blood in order to enter. So you cut your hand open and the honor is yours to enter the temple first. You do find the Alduin's Wall and Esbern tells you that there was a shout that the North heroes used to suppress Alduin, but most importantly you find some fresh drip. You figure out that you need to learn this shout and your best shot is to ask Greybeard since they are the masters of the voice and probably know all possible shouts there are. And we'll visit them in the next and last episode of our chill and quick playthrough in a few days. Until then leave a like and subscribe, tell me what games would you like to see in the form of chill playthrough or maybe you'd like me to do factions of Skyrim and I will see you in a day or two. As always, have a nice day.